Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be the introduction to my fall project use it up. I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I'm putting in for the fall project. It is actually, I think, all new products besides like a few things from the summer project. But I'm so excited to share this, share this with you guys. Keep in mind that it is still 100 degrees here in Texas, so I'm not quite 100% fall ready yet. I am as far as like home fragrance, but body care, I'm not there yet. So I'm still working on that, but I did put in some products. I think that will be a really great transition and I'm really excited to start using these. I hope you also enjoy the pumpkin theme that is going on in the background. I kind of decorated just a little bit for you guys, even though it still is August for me. And I put on a flannel, even though it is very hot and I'm actually gonna take it off right now because it's so freaking hot. Oh, I left the tag on. Well, this is from Walmart, no boundaries. But yeah, it's so freaking hot just leaving the sunshade open so i'm gonna just go ahead and take this off so i've got three body care combos that i'm gonna be starting off the project with i'm probably gonna finish some of these so it might alternate what i'm using but this is just the starter kit <laughs> so i have an apple scent routine i have a coffee scented routine and then a vanilla pumpkin so i'm so excited let's start with the coffee scents this one is a combo of two of my favorites which is midnight ember glow and vanilla mocha cafe this this is just an unmatched duo okay so this is my original vanilla mocha cafe from 2020 one of my absolute favorites of all time i actually don't have the notes on this fine fragrance mist but this is such a cozy scent smelling it right now just like makes me feel so warm and fuzzy so i'll try to find the notes and pop them up on the screen for you guys but this did come back out as a vanilla mocha cream um, and I believe it was just out in like the winter transition to spring time at Bath and Body Works. But one of my absolute favorites just smells like a very warm, comforting latte. So I'm very excited to put this one in. And right now we are right about here on the packaging. So it's like basically halfway. Um, and I'm so excited to use this one. It's one of my favorites. And then for Midnight Amber Glow, I'm putting in the shower gel and this body cream. So I actually started off um, putting this one together because my Midnight Amber Glow Shower Gel is so close to being done. So we are already down to here. So honestly, this will take me one month. That's why I'm saying I'm definitely gonna be adding more stuff in as I finish things up. So Midnight Amber Glow is Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon. And then I'm putting in the body cream because I actually have not used this one and I own two of them. So I definitely wanna finish this up before it goes bad because it's coming up at its one year birthday in the fall and it is already pretty yellow. Um, but I doubt this one will actually turn until it's at least two or three years old, but still I don't wanna risk it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use that body cream up this year. So as a body scrub to put in there, I am gonna bring back out my Dove Brown Sugar and Coconut Butter Exfoliating Body Polish. This was in the summer project and I am pretty much one third, I have like one third of it left. so. I'm pretty close to being done with it, so I just wanted to keep it in the project and go ahead and finish it off. Also, I feel like that's a, a good synth combo, so yeah, putting in this one and I will definitely have it finished up by the next update. Something really fun that I'm putting in is the Glossier Body Hero Dry Touch Oil Mist. Now this one is really awesome. I don't believe that there is a like scent note for this one, but I picked this up at the Glossier store in Seattle when I was visiting a friend and it smells really good. It says mist directly onto body or onto hands and massage into skin. Use on either wet or towel dried skin after bathing or showering. Um, and yeah, it does have a little bit of a scent. I actually put some on earlier, but it's just kind of like a musky scent, I guess. So I feel like this one would be really nice to use, especially since it's still hot here. And I really do enjoy using a um, body oil right after I shave my legs. So this will probably be really useful for that. And I'll just like spray it on. So I'm excited to try that. Also just like the vibes of um, this whole like cream brown situation is just really speaking to me. And then I am also putting in a little mini perfume from Replica. This is Coffee Break. Excited to try this one out. I have sniffed it a few times before like in Nordstrom and stuff and I enjoyed it sniffing it. So I'm excited to try this and see what I think. 
Next set is something that I've been dying to use and that is champagne apple and honey. I'm so happy I have this one. Um, I did pick it up, I believe at summer SAS and winter SAS. Like I just started stocking up on product cause it is one of my favorites and I discovered that I loved it last fall. So I'm so excited to use this one. Champagne apple and honey is crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine, honey, and autumn woods. So yeah, this is the 2022 packaging. And I think it's really cute. It's got like the stitching kind of line. It looks like sweaters almost. I think it's adorable. So I have it both in the shower gel and in the lotion. And then I've also got it in two mini formulas. I did pick it up in the fine fragrance mist, also from the same collection. This is unused. I figured that it would be better if I picked up the mini mist so I could actually just finish this whole thing during the fall because I go through mist pretty slow. So I think this is gonna be the absolute perfect September transition into fall scent while well, it's still hot here but i want to feel like it's fall time so i'll just like put in some apple scented stuff um and then i have the body cream which is about halfway used because i have brought this on a trip with me before but it just smells amazing and i'm excited to use this one and to jazz this scent up i do have a body scrub and a perfume that i'm gonna put in so of course it wouldn't be a project use it up without a tree hut scrub and this is the apple macchiato Shea Sugar Scrub from this year's fall collection. I'm really excited to use this one. It does smell like candy though. I have to say it's definitely more like candy than it is like actual genuine apple. So I'm curious to see how this one is when I actually use it on my body. But I'll keep you guys updated. It is unused. It is this like bright coral pink, but it smells delicious. It smells like if you had maybe like sour candy sour candies that were like apple flavor. That's what it smells like. So I'm excited to try it. I'll keep you guys updated. And then I'm going to put in this little mini sweet like candy from Ariana Grande perfume. This one is pretty much almost finished. I think it's like on its last leg. So I just want to finish it up and get it out of my collection. I've had this probably since like 2014, 2015. I've had it since high school. <laughs> so it's a, it's been a long time. So I definitely need to finish this one. And then for my final scent combo, it's the Vanilla Pumpkin scent. So if you watched my vlog from Monday, you would have seen my TJ Maxx haul and I hauled this pumpkin icing philosophy shower gel. I'm so excited to try this one. I had to put it in the project immediately. It smells delicious. It honestly does smell just like pumpkin icing, maybe with like some pumpkin pie spice mixed in there, but it smells so good. And it's not overly like, gourmand pumpkin it is definitely more of like a sweet sugar icing than it is gourmand so i'm excited to try this one i'm so happy i love the philosophy um formula i think it bubbles and lathers really well in the shower so i'm excited to try this one and also in the shower i'm gonna just bring back the island vanilla body scrub from pacifica i'm pretty much almost done with this guy um it's all the way down here so i just wanted to finish it up before i kind of got rid of it so that is this one. And then a scent that I just really wanted to use because it hasn't come back yet is Bonfire Bash. And I love this scent. It is the perfect summer to fall transition scent. And this is the 2020 packaging line. So it has like this beautiful pink leaf detailing on it. It's really gorgeous. The notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. And again, I'm about a little less than halfway on this bottle, but this scent is so pretty. It definitely has the vanilla bourbon aspect to it. It smells like marshmallows with bourbon or something. It's so good. And one of my favorites that wears well on my body. So I'm really happy to put this one back into my rotation because I miss it. Okay, the last item that I'm putting in is my new Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla Perfume. I'm excited to try this one. That's really why I put it in the project. So I knew I wanted to incorporate this into one of the routines. So why not do a pumpkin vanilla, right? So this is what it looks like. I have to say subpar sample size packaging, but okay. And it's not a roller wall. It is a spray, which I'm happy that it's a spray though. That actually worked out really well. I will put the scent notes down below. But this is like a light and airy kind of vanilla. I believe it has jasmine in it too, which I totally get. I feel like this one's going to be really nice to wear down on your body, like after wearing it for a long day and kind of heats up on your skin. I feel like this one's going to be so pretty. So I'm excited to try it and I'll keep you guys updated what I think of it. But that is the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla. Okay, that is everything for my fall project use it up introduction. I know I didn't really introduce a ton of stuff. It's just three 
um, scent combos, but I didn't really want to overwhelm myself. I feel like in the past I've done a lot of combos and I kind of would just scatterbrained on what to finish first. So I feel like three is just enough to have a combination, but also feel confident that I'm going to finish these. So I'm excited. So as of right now, I have 16 items in the project and I'm going to go ahead and set my goal to finish up 15 items in the project. I know my goal for summer was 20, but I think 15 is pretty reasonable, honestly, because I've been finishing up consistently around like 12 to 17 every project. So I think 15 is the perfect sweet spot to not really make me rush through my products, but I can still enjoy them and finish them off, obviously. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below. What are you looking forward to most using during the fall or what are you using right now as we roll into September? Really curious to hear what you guys are using. I know if you're like in northern in the northern United States or Canada, you're probably already bringing out the pumpkin scents because it is already turning into like a crisp weather in the mornings and at nights. But for us here in the south, it is 100 during the day and 80 at night. So I'll take 80 over anything else. But yeah, I'm still just slowly transitioning, but I will get there soon. And I'm excited to just use up the ones that I just put in. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.